you doing? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. How you doing? So listen, 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 listen. Calm down, calm down. So Bay Daddy and I went to see the April Fool's Day comedy. It was Samoa, Tony Rock, Sadiq somebody. It was it was it was the old heads that been doing comedy for a minute and so they, they were really good They're very talented and sometimes I think about my bucket list and you know doing open mic night or something like that but I'm like I gotta come up with material cause baby you're not gonna get me on stage and I don't know what to say uh 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 <laughs> but when I have good energy from an audience it kinda just flows out but no you gotta go up there prepare nah 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 but Tony Rocky said he didn't wanna talk about the Will Smith slap and he said because he didn't wanna take away from the other comedians that are there, you know, with the big hot news with Will Smith slapping his brother Chris Rock. I was kind of surprised that Chris Rock, he apologized to Jada Pinkett. So, I, first of all, nobody has the right to put their hands on anybody. I don't care what you say. Words are words. Don't put your hands on me. And, you know, I'm a domestic abuse survivor. Just don't put your hands on me. You can say whatever you want to say. And in my opinion, um, did he know she had alopecia? Mm, alopecia runs in my family as well as heart disease. And if you're so sensitive about it, so you throw a wig on. But I think she looks beautiful with her short hair like that. A comedian's job, sometimes your audience becomes the butt of your jokes. It just, it is what it is. That's what they do. They're kind of unfiltered. If you go into a comedy show and you know if you don't want to get you know if you don't want to get the business don't sit in the front row because they are going to get you and it's all in fun all in comedy and in my in my opinion we could agree to disagree if you are a celebrity even when i started youtube a couple of years several years ago you know i was a little sensitive when people would say bad that i was like oh my god oh my god you know i was a little butthurt but then as years went on you were like oh okay whatever you do get hardened to those things and and you just don't pay them I'm like whatever so i'm thinking she's been in the industry for ever forever and you haven't built up that card exterior i know we're all human it gets to us but i'm like because he said gi jane too did he mention her hair no he did not but we can all infer what he meant but he just said gi jane too and that is like a great role i mean she hasn't had a major role in a minute so i i don't get why she was so sensitive about that I just don't get it. A joke is a joke. He he didn't say anything about all oh, alopecia. Did he know what alopecia is? He sitting there watching Red Table Talk. He just is. He's busier than busy. So he got time to sit there and watch them conversate at the Red Table about nonsense. It's okay for her to have a what? What did she call it? Have relations with her son's friend, but don't mention her hair. It's okay for her to have an entanglement and with her son's friend. But don't talk about her hair because she's so sensitive about that. My mom wore a wig as long as I can remember. I don't even remember my mother without a wig. And would she go to a comedy show and sit in the front row and take her wig off? And no, she would not. You know, so I'm glad it skipped me. If you're that sensitive when you go out in public, put a, put a wig on. He wouldn't have had no room, wiggle room, to say anything about... G.I. Jane too. Come on now. I, I just thought it was whatever. And I don't understand he felt the need to apologize to her. I feel as though, just like Will Smith said, that's a comedian's job. That's He's going to crack jokes on people. You think somebody said something about my mama, said a mama joke, I'm going to get all butthurt? Absolutely not. My mom been dead forever. Go ahead and crack your jokes. I'm going to crack them right back. You, I, I don't understand how sensitive. I mean, you've been in the industry? I'm quite sure you how many people dragged her out about the entanglement? But don't say nothing about the hair. Mm, I have my, my feelings about this. And there are lots of comedians. They're like, bruh, it's okay to take that. Mm, but don't talk about the hair. Really? What's your opinion? Leave it in the comments section below. And I feel as though he shouldn't, in my opinion, I feel as though he should not lose um, his Oscar, whatever award it was. I don't feel, because he earned it. He's a phenomenal actor. He earned that. So why would you take something away that he earned? Now, should he be banned? 
Absolutely. Should he be sanctioned? Absolutely. But to take away the Oscar, something that he earned and he put in the work for that, yeah. And one little mistake like that, mm, I wouldn't take it away, but he would definitely be banned. There should definitely be some consequences because no one, no one has a right to put their hands on you at all. And Chris Rock is almost 60 years old. He's, you know, getting up there to 60 and have his whole family to be slapped. But his restraint, ooh, to sit there and put your hands behind your back and be like, wow. You know, that was pretty impressive too. And it, the whole situation just really, really, it really hurt because don't don't put your hands on somebody because somebody said G.I. Jane too. Boy, bye, you need to get your life and get your wife and hopefully there won't be another entanglement. You slapped the wrong person, bruh, period.